Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical Tonight, and bringing you Monk Monday at number 121. Thank you. For those who don't know what that is or what this is, you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I critique it, I review it, I go over it. Anything, cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns, any kind of gameplay, twos, threes, RBGs, solo shuffle, mythic plus, rating. I have done it all. Miss Weaver, Windwalker, I've done both. So please send in your gameplay. One of the best ways to learn is to watch your gameplay back. If you don't want to submit your gameplay, just record your gameplay and watch yourself back. Seriously, like please just do it it's one of the best ways to learn um with that said today we have gosfell gosh gosfell and they say in the email thank you in advance for your support we played with a friend and got a quick and got uh stuck at 1.cr in 2v2 okay so per, uh, 2v2 is my favorite bracket in the game so i will be i will be happy to offer any assistance our main difficulties is against uh arms warrior which yeah arms warriors are pretty good in twos i recorded six gameplays i think i i can't edit you do not have to edit Please don't edit. You you don't have to edit at all. I will go through it. It doesn't matter. I promise. Just send the gameplay in. And we got six games here. Again, thank you. And hear from you soon. Yeah, of course. Of course. All right. Let's see what we got. We got some Miss Weaver Demon Hunter. So Demon Hunter is is pretty they're they're fairly weak into arms warriors. Um, you know, they they're if, unless you could like pre blur stuns or pre glimpse a storm bolt, you're going to or not pre glimpse, but glimpse storm bolt, you're going to you're gonna run into some issues. Um, it looks like we're playing against Mistweaver Marks Hunter. So for this, I would say you want to I see we're using targeting macros, which is very nice. Um versus this, you're probably just gonna run down the Marks Hunter, play disarm. I don't know if I saw any talents for this. Yeah, okay, so we see some talents here. Let me see what we got here. We are playing Zen Pulse, which I would potentially drop Zen Pulse. I would put one point over here and then put one point in, right here. But, I mean, that's fine. It is, you know, it's up to you. But and let me see PvP talents as well. Uh, definitely Disarm. Perfect. Good. Good. Yes, good. Very guys, want to make sure I'm recording. You, wouldn't, um, you, you don't know how many times I've tried to record these, and uh, I didn't press record, so... Yes, so we have some good talents. PvP talents are good. And let's see what we got. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a Marks Hunter right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to try to disarm or have disarm for... Oh, it's a Fist Weaver. So you're going to want to definitely have disarm for the True Shot. But you, you want to try to in-cap, sweep, song, the Monk. Yep, good. We get stunned here. It's okay. Uh, the Monk is on Sundiar, so just be careful. Um, just focus on healing right now, Life Goon. It is true shot, so now is the time to disarm. When do we disarm? Let me see. All right, let me see. I'm trying to see if we track uh, true shot or if I see it on the or on the actual. I think we disarm the true shot instantly. Um, no, we actually di we disarmed before true shot. So this true shot right here, very very important cooldown that Mark Hunters have. It's basically their entire burst cooldown or their only burst cooldown. So. Um, Try to save Disarm for True Shot because this is where most of the damage is going to come from. Um, Life Cocoon is fair to trade. You could trade um, Life Cocoon for it. That's fine too. Nice drop here to stop the Monk healing. Um, yeah, I think the thing the, this is I think a fair matchup for you because you can the 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 Marksmanship Hunter has to kite. The Marks Hunter has to kite, and the Monk has to stay close enough to heal him. So as long as you keep incapping, stunning like anything to the Fist Weaver, you should be able to uh, get a kill on a Hunter. Um, tries to swap over to you on the life cocoon. Just keep, just focus on healing. Yeah, there's no, there's no kick right now. This is a song of Chigi. It's a little unfortunate, but that's okay. Blur from your demon hunter is good. Again, still no, there, there's no kick from the hunter right now. So you're just free casting. You're, you're, they only have one range kick, you know. So just keep casting. You'll be fine. We're looking for some kind of in cap sweep on the monk right now, though. We are playing song, so now it would be a good time. I mean. I mean, the kick is coming off cooldown, but whenever the hunter kicks, I would make sure that you go for a song because if the if you in cap the monk, no one can kick you if the hunter already kicks. So we have probably sweep. We have sweep. Um, I'm assuming we have in cap. We have in cap sweep song. Beautiful. So next stun on the hunter, we're looking for some kind of CC on the monk, or even go for it now if you want to. Maybe go for a rop or something. Double sweep here would be insane. Trap on you is a little unfortunate. I'm fine with that. I'm fine. Go for a sweep on the monk, though. You definitely want to go for it. Um, we missed this. We got the sweep on the hunter, which is fine, but we who did we ink? Oh, did we incap right now? This is perfect. It's perfect. Good. Except I think, what was that? Was that the pet? I think we incap the pet. 
I don't see in cap DR on on the Mistweaver. Um, but we did get trinket and we got live cocoon there. So they have no trinkets, which is really good. You could kill the pet. I don't know if this is the main pet or not. I don't know if I don't know if scream slash is is yeah no it is you just taunted it yeah no I I would kill the pet right now too, and uh, good job just keep your teammate alive we're trapped right now your demon hunter has darkness and blur so we have a lot of cooldowns we also have Yulon. um but I you see how we haven't used them yep good good done perfect no turtle kill the hunter um. I'm not seeing much use out of Zen Pulse either. So, I mean, we just use it right there, but it just still just feels so weak. Nice juke on the kick there. Going for a song of Chigi. Get it? Nice. All right, this is kill. Yeah, get the kill here. Sweep. Kill him. Beautiful. This was a good game. This was a good game. I, I have no... There aren't many complaints I have about this game. I think overall it's really solid. It was unfortunate that we missed a double sweep, but, I mean, that happens. You know, trust me. I have missed plenty of sweeps in my day. So, um... Yeah, it was just this one. I, what happened to the in-cap here? I swear it was weird. Oh, no. The Mistweaver in-capture Demon Hunter. Oh, I thought we used in-cap. I'm so... I was so confused right here. Okay, no. The enemy monk in-capture Demon Hunter, which is actually a good in-cap from him, but we got Turtle, which is really good. But somehow the double sweep missed, which is a little unfortunate. Like, right here? I don't know how. The double sweep miss. I guess we go for a stun here. Then maybe a stun on the mo like. I don't know how that missed. That's crazy. Um, overall, though, it's a really good game. Good job healing wise. Uh, make sure you keep renewing mist on your demon hunter though. Uh, make sure you keep. We got a little minimum proliferation proc, which is nice. But make sure you maintain renewing mist on. Good, good. Overall, though, really good game. Solid game. Great job rotating cooldowns. Good job juking the the mistweaver when you're going for the song. And yeah, no, I got I got no complaints about that game. That was that was a really solid game. That was really good. Um, okay, Resto Shaman, Arms Warrior. Uh, it looks like we're fisting. We're fist weaving. Um, Arms Warriors are difficult because they are plate wearers. The only, the best talent, or the best talent, the best target would be Resto Shaman in this case. Um, your your build is fine. Disarm is good. Yeah, no, this is good. All right. So we're gonna fist weave. This is the first time. I think this is the first time I've had a fist weaver to critique. I don't, th I don't think anyone's ever done, like, shuffle fist weaving, so we get a port down. Yeah, kill the shaman. Shaman's the only kill target here. That's that's just how it is. Um, nice stun there. Nice disarm on the warrior. Warrior trinkets into a full leg sweep. Beautiful. I would just, yeah, hunt there. Kill healing tide totem. Nice drop as well for no spirit link. Great job. Kill the healing. Yep. As a fist weaver, no, I would kill the healing stream totem. I would, I would kill this healing stream totem. At your role as the fist weaver, if you're running down the resto shaman, is you are the totem stomper. Um, you could, you, your healing still happens when you use your damage on a totem. So whenever you see a healing stream totem, a healing tide totem, you, you go, you kill it, just kill it. Because uh, leaving this up, this is actually a lot of healing. This is actually a significant amount of healing. Um, so yeah, definitely want to kill it when you can. Again, all these totems you can just kill. This, this right now. We're falling behind because we're not doing damage. Like that that's the issue right now. Um but you could be doing damage to the totems. Or like at least building up tiger palm stacks um from the totems. That way you when you need to, you can do damage. Uh that's an in cap on the warrior. I think he Zerka Rage. I don't know how the warrior got out of that, but yeah, maybe it wasn't a big one. Um but yeah, we should have Chi We that's life cocoon. We should have Chi Chi soon too. Uh I see that we're we're running it. I mean, we should be. We're fist weaving. So, yeah, I, I would press Chigi kind of soonish. Uh, another healing stream totem. Yeah, hit the warrior it, it, on your way to the wrestle shop. Look at this. It's it's, it's insane. Uh, this is wait what? Three minute cooldown, Chigi. That's a mistake. Yeah. So we're we're running Jade Bond right here. Don't run Jade Bond when you fist weave. Run the shorter one minute cooldown bird because. Uh, I mean, what am I cooldown? She's just insane. Uh, we're doing a good job. We're doing a good job here. Um, maybe we're looking. We already used darkness. Wait, I kind of skipped ahead, I think. Yep, we skipped a little bit ahead. All right. Yeah, we use life cocoon. We use our bird, which is the three-minute cooldown version. Probably, definitely. I mean, the three-minute cooldown isn't bad. If you know the arena, it's going like, to be a short game, but normally twos goes a little bit longer. But three-minute cooldown here. We do get storm bolt. We use your storm during it, and we get speared. I would instantly probably just drop here. That's parry as well. So this is the issue. This is the issue when you're playing against warriors right here. Right here is the issue, is they could spear parry, and there's really nothing you can do about it. Now, what you can do in this situation is you can... I see we have Thunder Focus available, and Ancient Teachings is about to fall when using 4 proof. So, what I would do is I would 
Feyline Stomp here to get the Ancient Teachings buff. And now with Thunder Focus T and Velpy Mist yourself, just because you have Chi G up, right? You have Chi G up, so that means you're going to get the Velpy Mist Hot and the... <clears throat> um, you're going to get Velpy Mist Hot and the Bird Hot. And you're going to also want to probably want to use Dampen Harm. Because this is a lot of cool damage right here. So, yeah, and great healing off of this off of the Totem too. <clears throat> but yeah, we have Disarm back, by the way. So feel free to Disarm the Warrior at any time. Good, good, perfect. Yep, hit him. Great. Awesome job. Awesome job. Yeah, just keep hitting the Shaman. Keep hitting the Totems. Um, we have we should have Sweep soon. We do. Good. Double Sweep here. Kill. Nice drop so they can't Spirit Link. We have, we have an Instant Velvet Mist as well. Intervene from the Warrior there. Intervene's down. Stormbolt on you. I don't know if he has Zerka Rage, but we could maybe go for a little in-cap on the Warrior. I don't know. Good job hitting the Warrior, though. Disarm on you doesn't do anything, which is great. Kind of wasted. Blade Storm swap over to the Shaman. Perfect. Feyland stop. Boom. Done. Easy. It's easy like that. Not beautiful. Yeah, th this this was good. This was a good game. Um, maybe port if you feel like you're in trouble and then port back if you're playing Escape from Reality. But overall, I think uh, this was a good game too. Just rent down the Shaman. Try to kill the Totems. I mean, that's pretty much it. it, it your role as the Fist Weaver is kill those Totems ASAP. Stop, stop the healing from the Shaman as much as you can. And that's really the, the best you can do. All right, what do we got now? We have... Arms Warrior, probably Wrestle Shaman or Ardruid. Uh, that's kind of what I've been running into these days. Uh, the really tough comp, to be honest. Yeah, Ardruid version, I think, is the toughest comp. I, th I think Ardruid Arms Warrior is probably the best comp in twos. Um, it's really, really good. It's really good. So, uh, if we're going to Fist Weave again, Fist Weaving is probably what he, probably the best way to deal with it. But, again, you're going to have to run down the Ardruid. And Ardruid has a little bit more mobility than the Wrestle Shaman. Uh, at least you got this map though. This map was good at least. Probably running the same build, which is fine. And let's see, probably three minute Chigi as well. All right, Jackie. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can run down Jackie. Um, that's spear from our the the warrior again. They press the parry. That's stun. That's a cyclone. Maybe could have stopped it, but war banner is. I definitely. Where's the war banner? Where's the war banner? I see. Where is it? I don't know where the war banner is. I have no idea, but you definitely want to kill it right here. Where is it? It should be right soon. It should be in this general vicinity. So I would try to kill the war banner as well. Again, you could heal off of the war banner. So um, then they also super DRS stun you. Um, so I would 100%, maybe would have tried to stop the cyclone, even though it's war bannered. I think I would just because it's nice to get help from your teammates. But maybe, I mean, there is some time, but. Yeah, the war banner is still up. I would focus on maybe killing the war banner, I guess, and just try to keep yourself alive. Good darkness from your demon hunter, though. In cap, again, he's still war. Well, if we're going to do this, might as well just stop the CC. But yeah, it definitely would have been ideal if we killed the war banner before the in cap, though. Because I think the druid is still war bannered. Yeah, that, that's a war banner right there. And I think we finally killed. We I don't know. I don't think we did. Uh,. But that's fine. We have disarm as well for the warrior after all these cooldowns. So that's. that's or we already used it, but. Still good. I think that's how we got the trinket. That's Bark Skin, though, from the Druid, which is great. Blur from your Demon Hunter. Uh, that's Fear from your Demon Hunter as well. We, I think we break it, but I don't know what the strategy is now. Because now your Demon Hunter is hitting the Warrior, and that's Trinket from your Demon Hunter, and that's a Cyclone on you. So it looks like we want to hit the Warrior. I don't think you're going to kill a Warrior. I think you're going to want to go the Resto Druid. I, especially since he's already used Bark Skin. Uh, I would definitely focus on the Druid, but I mean... We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I think druids have I, not druids. I think warriors have a lot of self healing. Maybe druids are a little bit more difficult for you guys to heal or to target. So, I mean, that's fine too. But if he's playing nourish spec, you should definitely run him down to the ground. Uh, Song of Chiji. All right, all right. I guess we kill the warrior. Maybe get trinket from the druid. That's perfect. Just leg sweep the trinket. Just kill the warrior. Dr. Stun. Okay. I mean, I guess we're killing the warrior now. That's perfect. We're winning on mana by a lot. So, or no, we're actually losing on mana. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But that's Incarn from the Druid. Uh, that's Root on you. Kick on the Cyclone, potentially. Nice drop on it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. You, that's really unfortunate. Did we def we Diffuse Magic the Root? Oh, I see, I love using Diffuse Magic on a Tangling Roots because it roots the Druid. But we Diffuse Magic. We root the Druid. We get juked, and then we can't rob because he's rooted. I, I saw you. I see what you're trying to do. And it would have been a sick play, too, because I, I do it all the time. But he's rooted. So Rop doesn't work. So that's another walk from... Oh, I think we just overlap Trinket and Netherwalk. 
I think we did. I think we I think we overlapped Trinket and Netherwalk. Uh which is which is not good. That's that's normally not good. Um you especially I mean fist weaving you can normally heal through, but you don't have many cooldowns to rotate between, especially twos because dampening starts. It's already at forty percent dampening. So here's second spear. This is really good. Um, if you could survive this go, this is normally where they get a bunch of cooldowns. But we do we did use disarm, which is great, and that is parry from the warrior. I, I think he, he must have he must have spear and and die by the sword macroed into one like just macro together. Um, good swap here. Good fear as well. Nice double stun. Chaos Nova coming out. Demon Hunter just doing insane damage. Iron bark on the druid. Swap off to warrior. Yep, beautiful. Let the druid have his iron bark. I think he already bark skin too. Um, Oh, trying to get a kick. Nice in cap into song here. Yeah, this this should be. Oh, it's it's half because of sigil, but that's fine too. I think it's sigil of misery. I think is the name of it, which is the fear. But I think overall we're doing a really good job. That's trinket from what the warrior on that. Oh my god. Okay. Warrior could now potentially be be the kill target, but I'm loving I'm loving the damage to the druid. No, he's got no cooldowns. Jackie's got nothing. So we're doing a lot of damage here. Doing a great job. Just keeping our teammates alive. Really close to Todd range. Oh, work one time it just needs to work one time maybe go for an in cap nice nice so close maybe tiger's lost if we have it nice drop oh in cap nice i would probably in cap song i would in cap song here 100 percent. go for an in cap song sweep is okay sweeps even better nice cocoon on the demon hunter beautiful fan line stop doing damage here i mean that's blur from a demon hunter as well but i think that's okay uh, to have that little overlap. I don't know how long on spear, but it should be kind of soonish. Uh, it's right now. Yep. So he's going to use spear and war banner to just keep your, just keep the, oh my God. Oh my Lord. That's crazy. Um, I cannot, I, you know, arms warriors are built different, I guess. That's crazy. Um, I think it's this stun right here. Let me see. I would have, I mean, that's bark skin. Yeah, probably just a little too, how long on the DR for Druid? I mean, 10 seconds. 10 seconds is a little long. Yeah, I don't know. I, this was close. It was close. But it's 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 spear goes are, are brutal. Very, very brutal. I would recommend, though, playing uh, short Chi Gi. Very, like, 100% short Chi Gi. It's just better. It, it's just way, way, way better. Uh, you basically have it for every spear. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a way that your demon hunter, I don't know your demon hunter. I mean, you did overlap blur with cocoon. So maybe there's a chance that like you could have lived. We did. So this was an overlap here. Um, trinket and nether walk, which is a bit unfortunate. We live the spear, which is good. And then we do we, a lot of good pressure on the druid here. A lot, a lot of good pressure. I don't, I actually don't know how the druid lived. I really don't. And then do, do, do. I mean, if Todd worked, I mean, what, what, what how, how low? 19% dang close for 13 imagine if Todd worked like just imagine a world where Todd just showed up to work and decided to work you know what I mean uh very unfortunate very very unfortunate I think right here I mean again 11% I, right here I, I think I think it's, it's just a swap to the to, to the warrior warrior has what no trinket right Warrior has no trinket no cooldowns and Drew's just gonna sit and bear for him so I I think maybe we swap to the warrior um, maybe even right here. I, th I would have went for an in cap here. Yeah, I would have in capped the the um, the druid low here and went for a song just to keep him in place because then the druid goes even further away and it's harder for your demon to connect. And then if, because he has to connect, we overlap blur and cocoon. I, your demon under press is blur, so I, maybe just a slight overlap, especially since spear is coming off cooldown. You want to have something, but. Also, there is no Netherwalk available too. So if we didn't trinket, if we didn't overlap trinket with Netherwalk, maybe probably could have lived here. Um, but yeah, it's just a it's just a few small overlaps. That's pretty. It, that's that's it. That's nor and that's normally all it takes. It's actually playing short spear too. So it's like not even like spears done now. Dang, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's just a few short overlaps uh, with your trinket and Netherwalk, cocoon and blur, and then I would definitely play short GG. I would I would 100% play short GG because then you have it a lot more often. You don't fall behind qu uh, as easy, and you just you just it's just a really good cooldown. Um, what do we got? Our shaman Ellie shop. Yo, I queued into this a lot on NA, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, we ran down the rest of shaman to no one's surprise. Uh, ran that our shaman to the dirt. So yeah, I would I would just kill totems. Uh, the one thing you that is gonna be really annoying. Oh, I like the mammoth mount. Well, very, very good mount here. 
The one thing that is annoying are the hex lassos. Hexes are really annoying. Hexes lose you this matchup. So if you do whatever you can to stop the hexes, um, when your demon hunter goes for a stun on the R shaman, go for an in-cap on the Ellie to stop the hexes. If you're, you know, vice versa, if you're hitting the Ellie shaman, CC the R shaman. So it's all RNG. That's a great, great Ellie shaman name. Love this. Perfect. This is exactly what I'm talking about right here. Perfect. It's it's beautiful. Um, oh, now we're hitting them. Okay. Now we're hitting the Ellie. That's that's fine too. You also want to dispel kind of as much as you can. Um, we got sweep there. That's see that there's the hex. That's the aura mastery hex. I think so. Or no, maybe precog. I don't, I can't tell. Was that precog? I think. No, no, because he's casting it while moving. Yeah, no. I guess it's just the orb mastery and just going for a stormkeeper. We're just doing damage. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. Uh, Counter strike to him. Good, good kill on it. Uh, we are taking some damage though. You might want to dispel when you can. Two flame shocks. Even even though it there's two flame shocks and one of them is the resto shamans. Resto shaman can still do a lot of damage with their instant uh, lava burst. So keep that in mind. I don't know how I feel about the split right now. Nice kick on that lasso. Um, nice stop on that hex as well. I mean, I'm loving this. Yeah, this is a wall from the uh, the rest, the Ellie Shaman. Um, Healing Stream Totem, just, I would just kill it as you are rolling past it just because it does quite a you know good amount of healing. Whether it's the Ellie or the rest of Shamans, I think it's still good to um, to kill it. And there's a Hex. So this one right here. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that team didn't last long. Good game. The split was fine. I, didn't, I guess I didn't mind the split. I, I don't know. You kill them. I guess Demon Hunter doesn't really need help with damage, so he just splits so the rest of Shaman has to heal both of them. Yeah, I don't mind that. And then, yeah, right here is what I was talking about, like the hexes. If you could stop these hexes at all, uh, do it. You could even, if you're playing Peace Weaver, you could have revival it too. I, I probably would have. If I saw the Oz Shaman was this low and the Ellie Shaman isn't trying to, you know, stack for a ha uh, stack for a link, I would just revival. Yeah, that's what I would have done. I don't know if we have kick available. I don't know if we do or not. I mean, if we did, we probably would have kicked it. Oh no, we don't. <sighs> okay. Yeah. No. Good. That's that's the only thing this game I would I noticed is uh, got a piece of this last hex, but um, we killed him, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Solid game. Solid game. Uh, Rest of Shaman loved it. Just died to us. It's great. Uh, our Druid Arms Warrior. All right. Same thing. Same thing. I don't. I think Druid is probably the kill target, but you know. You could probably win on mana by swapping targets as well on hots. So we'll see. Three minute. I I I, I said three minute. Gg. That's uh throwing me off a little bit. Uh, is this a different team? All right. Let's see what we got here. Actually, I don't think it is. Let's see. Uh, Drew goes for a clone. Here. They're using a different strategy. So I don't know. Their spear is that. What is that? Trinket cocoon. All right. Let's see. Wait. Let's let's evaluate the situation here. Um. Stunned. Ooh. He definitely missed time. Uh, maybe not. He definitely could have incapped it. I think. I I actually think you could have incapped this this cyclone. It's what a one point two second cast, right? He come. Mm, it's it's a close one. It's close. Maybe not. Maybe not. I, mean, I could be wrong. I mean, you're just coming out of it right now, and the clone isn't off yet. So I mean, maybe it's worth a shot. Anyway, clone on you. No, your demon hunter isn't in a stun when the spear goes off. Probably just have your demon hunter blur here. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think Trinket Cocoon was necessary, especially since we're fist weaving and the Druid can spam Cyclone you. It gets kind of annoying. So, and then we overlap Blur with it. So if we just, I, you do enough healing where you could just sacrifice Blur and it blurs a short enough cooldown where it doesn't really matter. Um, but I mean, we'll we'll see. I guess I mean it's good enough for spear, right? You should have cocoon back. You should have blur back. That's Iron Market and Avatar. We're looking for a disarm on the warrior. Probably are we looking? Are we songing here? Oh, we're going for a song. A little miscommunication going on here. A little bit. Okay, we just drop there. That's fine. We still have disarm for the warrior's damage as well. Um, but overall, sweep drew the <laughs> warrior trinket set up over uses uh will to survive to get out of that stun. And we still have disarm for the next time Druid uses or the warrior use of cooldowns. Good use of port here. Port back and you're good. Yep, perfect. Done. Great, great, great. Yeah, no, we're looking good. Looking for any CC on the Druid because this is Innervate. Uh, so he is spamming regrowth with that cost no mana. Fear on you defensively. Uh, we still have Chi We still have disarm. So we have we have cooldowns. This is Chi right now. Let's get some let's get some healing out. We don't have. Oh yeah, we do. Okay. 
There we no no we didn't we didn't yeah we don't have ancient teachings buff uh, the ancient teachings buff drops right now so we get stunned I guess maybe that's darkness too maybe we get it now perfect okay yeah, yeah good good uh, instant velt mist on on either of you it doesn't really matter I mean you you're both gonna take a little bit of damage from the warrior I think they're trying to focus your your demon hunter but the warrior is targeting you and we still have disarm so. Keep that in mind. Next time we see Avatar or anything like that coming out, uh, we'll probably press on the Warrior. This is Blade Storm. Blade Storm's a sweep. We don't have Bort and stun on you. Yeah. <clears throat> Versus Warriors, I really hate Fist Reaving just because I feel like they can do so much. But yeah, Blade, we have an Envelop Mist. We have an Instant Envelop Mist. And we also have Disarm. And we also have Rob. I think so. We don't have Trinket. We don't have Trinket because we overlapped with Blur at the start. So that's one thing here. The second is we help we have we still have disarm, but I mean I guess we get chain stunned, right? We have dampen harm too. Yeah, the the thing with fist weaving is you need to pre use things. So right now, when I see the druid like not the druid, the warrior charging at me, I'm at sixty seven percent health. I'm pressing instant velvet mist and I'm and I'm dampen harming instantly. Maybe even a rob too, just kinda kite out the damage a little bit, try to recover. And then just go back in and fight because, yeah, if you drop low and you get stunned, you're just going to die to a warrior. That's just how it is. It sucks, but that's just how it is. And then you see how your your demon hunter has blur and they're walking everything back. It's just not worth trinketing, especially the first go. It's it's just not worth the trinket, especially trinket cocoon on the first one when your demon hunter has every cooldown, still has meta, everything, blur, darkness, met, uh, uh, nether. I don't think it's ever worth the Trinket Cocoon the first go. Um, so that's like the biggest mistake this game. We had one charge of Healing Elixir. Do we? St oh, we didn't have time to get out to press Life Cocoon, did we? No, we didn't. That's a really unfortunate. And we're not playing Eminence either. That is that is very unfortunate. Um, it just comes down to a Trinket overlap, though. Because if we have Trinket, we can either Life Cocoon or you know Dampen or Disarm. We can do anything. So, uh, Which is fine. It, it, it is what it is. It happens. It happens. You overlap. It's okay. <clears throat> um what do we got here we got what, what is this marks hunter miss we've all right a little little mirror matchup all right good good disarm we're running alpha tiger now which is i think i think we ran it the first game so we'll see how this goes port down beautiful sweet oh we're fist weaving this time though oh yeah we are we're fisting this time okay okay good so i it's just i hit who we can Song of Chiji on you. Really would have liked for your Demon Hunter to like... Usually, I'm assuming you're using voice. But let's just say you're not. It's re I would normally, when I get in-capped, I tell my DPS to get over here. Like, stop this song. Because your Demon Hunter's right here. I mean, that's he's one backflip away to, to kick in the Song of Chiji. And now we're going to get punished with either having a Trinket or Blur. I guess we use Blur. All right, that's fine. Blur's a short cooldown. That's fine. Trap on you. True shot. All right, let's disarm instantly. Disarm on the hunter, maybe for playing it. Nice in cap. Maybe going for a song. You know what you could do? Could make a play here. Could make a play here. What you could do is you can actually disarm the hunter. It's actually a two for one. What you could do. So hunters can't kick you if they get disarmed, and the hunter just used trinket. So what you can do is you could disarm the hunter as soon as he comes in line here. Disarm him on his true shot to stop his burst. Go for an in-cap on the monk and then go for a song off. And then he can't kick you. Even actually, even right now, you can in-cap the monk, disarm the hunter, song of Chiji, he can't kick you. Boom. Either one works, but I think we get kicked. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But be aware of those like certain niche situations where you can you can you could shut down the hunter damage and stop him from kicking you. And also go for an in-cap song. Um, but it's, it's fine because they stun you, he robs you. It's fine. We can even port here. I mean, if you want to get back faster, that's fine too. Um, hit both. It's good. They're gonna be stacked. But I would hit. I would hit the hunter if you can. Hit the hunter pet. Yeah. Kill the pet. Taught him. Taught that. Yep. Now he has to turtle. You have rop. Nice. <laughs> yes. It's glorious. I freaking love it. I mean, oh, okay. All right. Do we trinket for that? We did. Okay. We trinketed it for that rap. All right. Well, it is what it is, you know. It I would have done the same exact thing, probably. Actually, what up? How how deep into the cast do we rob? All right. Oh, we uh, we jumped the gun. We jumped the gun for sure. You want to? You literally want to wait until the very last like point two or three. So like, 
Don't drink. Just chill. Just chill. Just chill. And then Rob at like point two left. And you you would you there's time where you there's there's enough time where if he starts casting again immediately you can kick it right at the end of the turtle, um, but we did we did miss time it which is a little bit unfortunate. We do get trapped here. We do trade Netherwalk for it, um, which is good. It's fine. Um, in cap here into song hunter has kick can't get to it. Beautiful. Uh, maybe get a monk trinket off that. We don't. The hunters actually doing a really good job of kiting us. Uh, yeah, if you can't hit the hunter, hit the pet. That's that's literally. There are games where I have 80% of my damage is on the pet. Great sweep here from us. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> Keep taunting the pet as well, as well as hitting it. That's a trap. I think we taunted it, which is great. Good work. This is cheesy from us. Keep hitting the pet because the fist weavers have a hard time with uh, healing it. Boom. Kill scream slash again, and this hunter should die. Yeah, this hunter should should uh, struggle this time to to get his pet back. Uh, nice drop as well, good. But the hunter the hunter shouldn't be getting his pet back. I'm gonna be real. You have so many stuns and kicks uh, that are on a relatively short cooldown. They, they, I mean, trap on you shouldn't even unless the monkey get a double song on you guys. Nice reverse on the trap. Yeah, that's just no shot. Uh, that's a hunt from your demon hunter, and we're just yeah just doing damage here. Oh, actually get to restart. Oh no, it breaks. Oh. Poor guy. Rapid fire. We still have we have a uh, disarm in five. Cocoon is fair. Aim shot. Oh, he's gonna try to commit to do damage without the pet. This is okay. Just, there's just no mortal strike. But it looks like we get a fear. We do get the shrinking cocoon from the Mistweaver. True shot from the hunter. We use disarm a little early again. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, you you should have a much easier time without the mortal strike from the hunter. He still can't do damage, though. They, they can still do a lot of damage, so just be careful. That's trap, but I don't know where the trap is. I think it's in that darkness, but I think we, he missed it. I'm pretty sure he missed it. Yeah, doing a good job here. Sweep on you. Definitely killable. Definitely a killable target, so I, I guess we're not we're not, we're not not safe yet. Uh-oh. Thank God. Todd Todd's not working. Todd worked. Todd actually worked. That's crazy. Um. So this game, I'm actually surprised we lost. I mean, it really... I don't know. I, it just focus on doing damage, I guess. Let me see. Because, like, we fall behind. Let me see. True shot. Oh, true shot. I mean, again, true shot. I think we did the, fir I think we did the first game, too. Um, just don't save your disarm for true shot. That's that's the name of the game. This is, this is most of their damage and where they're going to get a lot of the pressure from is true shot aura. So d save disarm for true shot. And then you should have enough time to use disarm again before they get true shot. So, um but yeah, I don't know how we fall behind. Oh, it's a sweep. It's a sweep. Let me see. So we have no dampen harm. We have Rop, but we do get swept. Double sweep is a little unfortunate. We don't have Restoral. We do fall behind here. We have Thunder Focus D in five. Let me see. And yeah, we got we got no healing elixirs. Wow. Yeah. We just I think we just kind of run out. We do have Thunder Focus D enveloping mist. I maybe go for a Thunder Focus D envelopment. Enveloping mist. Nah, die too fast. Dang. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate because I think overall you were doing pretty good this game. Killed the pet twice, which is really good. I mean, we did trink it for the Rop, but I mean, I don't think that that was a bad play. Because if he doesn't get that, we did do it a little early, but I think still, I think we still did a good job uh, with this game. Yeah, fist, I mean, I'm trying to think. I think overall this was a good game, though. I really do. Um, so overall, let me see. This game was really good. I, I, I cast and Mistweaver felt a little bit better. It looked a little bit better into it. It's just each. It's, you don't you know have to do when you're fist weaving. It's harder to hit the uh, the hunter. Even when you're hitting the pet or the mist weaver, it's still a little annoying because they have slows and roots and CC and double sweeps. So that's the issue is you got double swept. Um, so uh, that's that, that's the annoying part. Uh, but this game, yeah, really good casting, really good um, healing rotation. I don't have many complaints about this game. Position wise, it was fine. We did disarm a little early though. So again, uh, try your best to always kind of plan ahead you know especially when you're playing cast and mistweaver you your goal is to stop as much damage as you can because you're basically just a healing up a class so true shot we don't have disarm for it but try to save your your disarms for true shot um good job stopping any healing from the monk as well it was really good so uh, yeah no i no, not no many not many complaints about this game it was, it was a good game same with this game this game is really good just uh when you're fist weaving i don't know if fist weaving with the nerves are going to be a thing anymore i haven't really tested it much but overall <laughs> if you're hitting the rest of shaman excuse me 
As a Fist Weaver, you want to kill the totems. Just kill those totems. Totem stop. Stop any passive healing they got. Uh, but overall, really good. Good disarms on the warrior this game. I think Resto Shaman, you, again, just trying to tunnel the Resto Shaman down and cleave the warrior, but hit the Resto Shaman. Next game was this one. So this was a close game, just minor overlaps. I mean, that's all it takes. I mean, that's the thing about Miss Weaver is we have a lot. We have good healing output, but that's we don't have many cooldowns. We got two, maybe three cooldowns that are just that's all we got. We have Restoral, GG, Life Cocoon. That's 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 what we got. Everything else is just healing output. I would note that you are running three minute GG. Play the one minute version, 100%. I would play the one minute version. I don't think it's worth playing the longer version, uh, unless you think the game's gonna go shorter than a minute. So, yeah, this game was just unfortunate overlaps. Try to be a little bit more greedy when you have when you demonize blur up or has blur available because blur is a really good cooldown. Um, this one, yeah, it's a solid game. It's a solid game. This is a funny game. Uh, I like this guy's name. Um, yeah, good game. This was good. The split worked, which was nice. Um. Could have peace weaver the hex at the end. But that's very nitpicky. I think overall you did a good job healing, good job doing damage. Maybe kill totems a little bit more, but besides that, you you guys crushed it. So I got no complaints about this one. Good fist weaving, good damage, shutting down. I think we did shut down one or two hexes. So I got no complaints about this one. This one's good. I don't know how you're stuck at eighteen hundred, my friend. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how you're stuck at eighteen hundred. This game, uh, this game was just yeah, just the 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 opener. The opener overlapped a lot. Trinket, Cocoon, and Blur for me, Demon Hunter. That's that's a very that's a big overlap. That's a big overlap. Cocoon is like or not Cocoon. Trinket is like one of your best cooldowns, unfortunately, as a Miss Weaver. So uh, using the opener is usually not ideal. If you feel like you're gonna die, you could drop Alpha Tiger for Eminence as well, since you're only hitting one target most of the time. Unless you're hitting a, like a hunter pet, playing against hunter and you hit pets or Demo Lock and you hit pets, but for the most part you're only hitting one target, so maybe you don't get as much value out of Alpha Tiger. That um that you might think you do. I normally play Eminence if I think I'm going to die. I actually don't even fist weave into Warriors because I hate fist weaving into Warriors. Um, but yeah, just an unfortunate overlap and they swap to you and you die. That's that's pretty much it. Um, and then this last one, uh, I don't, I actually don't know what happened. I mean, unfortunately, I mean, we did trinket for, and we didn't get the stop on the the pet, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, the pet revive, but we still kill the pet again. So I don't know. I, we just die. I mean, that's just how it is. I mean, that's just how it, we run out of stuff. Eventually, fist weavers can run out. Maybe, maybe the issue is we didn't like space things out. But I don't know because I think we did a really good job of doing damage, shutting down any damage. Oh, we we did. We also didn't have disarm for true shot again. So that again, whenever you're playing disarm, I mean, you're, you're fist weaving. So just keep it in mind. Yeah, you know, you're saving disarm for true shot. That's that's the major thing. Um, they get silence, but use healing like so we uh, we do stack damp and harm. Where's our damp and harm? Oh no, that's not damp and harm. What what button is that? I don't know what button that is. What button is that? I have no idea what that three minute cooldown button is. Is that I I don't know what that is. Oh, it's touch of death. Oh, okay. Never mind. That doesn't matter. Um we do use Fort Brew. I mean if we ha you disarm the true shot aura, maybe we didn't have to press four brew and dampen harm. So we, we did stack. We, we used every defense. We, okay. This might have been the issue. We used four brew, dampen harm, and diffuse magic all in one go when all you had to, honestly, all you had to do was disarm the hunter. So it kind of comes down to just ha saving disarm for true shot. He did have trinket, but yeah, we also used every defensive that go. So now, now we're actually in trouble and we have nothing. So, try to space out those defensives a little bit more, and I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, try not to overlap. Try to save disarm for, you know, when you're running into hunters and warriors. And, yeah, I, I don't know. I think your gameplay is, is pretty good. I think your gameplay is pretty good. I don't know how you stuck 1800. So, I expect you to be way higher, and I think you will be. Um, caster version, fist beam version, I think you play both pretty well. So, that is it for me. Hopefully, hopefully this will help for you or anyone that's running into the same issues, and that is it for me. Hope everyone's a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.